Shadow Racing 2016 saw many great highlights in our future. Some Shadow didn't even stand a chance at all, while others followed their dreams and their hearts to become world champion. So far, Chris Finagos and Dane Miller have been dominating the 48 superstars of the pack. What will happen to the Shadow Racing universe now? All needs and more will be answered as we welcome you back to America's favorite sport as we present Week 14's Hatching on Shadow Racing 2016 live from the seafood restaurants of Boston, Massachusetts. And here is your host to welcome back our exclusive sporting event, Mr. Brandon Channing! Hey fans, it's great to be back! Are you ready for the resuming of Charm Racing 2016? I hope you are! Yay, that's the spirit! And how are the fans at all? Welcome to the second half of the Charm Racing 2016 season! This is Week 14's action and we're coming to you live from Boston, Massachusetts! We got all of our 48 superstars ready to resume their journey! And for the first time in more than 30 years, we're bringing back the women superstars. And that's something important. That's coming up a little way on. But right now, let's head over to the first race of the men's division. And Paul's going to tell us all about it. Paul, who do we have for our first race of our return show? Alright, first up tonight for the men's division, we have Steve Waymore, the 2014 Rising Stars Champion. Chris Managos, the 2016 Rookie Champion, Corey Sanchester, and Jeff Nowis. Currently, Chris Managos is tied with 11-3 along with Dave Miller. Let's see how he will fare in the opening race of the second half of the 2016 season here on Jolly Sing. As always, our races will be held on the Animal Course. So it's best of luck to the first group of participants in our return episode of Jam Racing 2016. So without further ado, let's send him down to the field. The playoffs are lined up and ready to go. Everyone is on the clock. And please start the race! Here we go! And it looks like Seaway Moore and Jeff now is on going to rest. That means Chris Finagos and Corey Sanchester will have the opening edge as these two shall are heading for the wall. I mean the coconut trees, they're going to bring down the fruit, and now they're going to eat the fruit, and there goes Chris Finagos. He is impressive in the first half, now he wants to keep it up in the second half. He is currently leading over the pack right now, and it looks like he is heading for the water as the first superstar against people so on the return episode of Jam Racing 2016. It's number seven, who's heading for the water, along with a couple of cha other chaps. And right now, number eight is getting left behind in the competition. And it looks like number two is going to rest as Peebus. Number two will be made by number one, who's trying to hold off Corey Sanchester in a hurry. Numbers two and eight are battling for two life, way in the back. And it's the next Peebus will be made by... Corey Sanchester, who is numbers 1, 2, and 8 in the dust. Going since the fifth place of the pack, we're approaching the one minute mark. Currently, it is Chris Finagos who has the lead, followed by Jeff Nevis in an easy second, and Steve more wise in the foot. Chris Finagos trying to get the bid to win. We'll find out if he can make it happen. As we head back into Corey Sanchester, now catching up to number 7 for fourth place of the pack. Right now, in this numbers 1, 2, and 8, who are all battling for dear life way in the back. They're getting left behind the competition. Which one of them will get the next command to miss? It is number 2 who gets it. That means number 1 and 8 will have to be battling in the dust, way behind the pack. Right now, numbers 1 and 8 are battling for dear life as we pass 130. These two chow are getting left behind in the competition. And down goes number one as the next viewers we may buy number eight. Who leaves number one in the dust. So number one is in danger now. And we got a freeway battle between Jack Nevis, Steve Wayne Moore, and Chris Minotos back up in the front in the battle for first place. First, I send over to number seven. That's his I guess speed buzz of the race. Going leading with a four silver channel. I think Jeff Nevis is gonna hold on for the victory. Yep. 
he only had three wins so far in this race, but he is expected to get his win number four after all this time, as number one one of the next man's viewers, you can tell him one point for Jeff Dallas! Speedway boy came in second, and Chris Vidalcos will have to settle for third place. Well, there's always the rest of the second half for Chris Vidalcos, he's doing pretty good. And Jeff Dallas is our first winner of our return episode here on Channel Racing 2016. Great job. Don't go away, there's more seven coming up. The fun is just getting started, so stay tuned.